COVID is, is, is kind of a theme here, but it certainly raised our awareness uh, with a lot of people on ventilators that we hadn't really thought about before. But uh, intubation is a, is a significant player in uh, the patient care. Over 50 million patients a year are intubated in, in the United States, and two-thirds of which have some severe complications as a result. So one of the things that uh, Surgic Cure uh, as a company, and Arena King, who's the co-founder or the founder and the CEO, is going to talk to us about is how they've developed some mechanisms to actually improve that and lower the cost of intubation in hospitalization. Irina? Thank you so much, Mark. Hi, everyone. It is my absolute pleasure today to present to you Surgicure Technologies. We have developed a medical instrument to ensure that patients remain breathing during procedures and healing processes without causing harm to their skin and oral cavity. If you suddenly began experiencing shortness of breath until it's so hard to breathe, you feel like passing out, there's an 87% chance that you would be intubated and placed on a ventilator just to be able to take that breath again. Unfortunately, two out of three individuals experience long-term intubation-related complications in addition to the symptoms of their condition. Front teeth bite blocks that keep the mouth open for the breathing tube can break teeth, get dislodged, and travel to the back of the patient's throat. Adhesives that hold the breathing tube can cause skin breakdown and ulcerations and do not effectively secure the breathing tube in place. It takes an entire medical team to intubate a patient, and if the breathing tube falls out, it costs hospitals at least $40,000 to remedy and costs patients potential damage to their heart and brain. Thus, the current standard of care is not only ineffective, but it's inefficient as it requires multiple devices. Well, at Surgicure, we have the solution as the most secure bite block ever developed. It is placed on the back molars for improved strength and support. In contrast to that first photo, our adjustable framework avoids complete contact with the face to prevent trauma. And most importantly, the device stabilizes the breathing tube to ensure that no matter how the patient moves, they are safe and able to continue breathing. This is a critical need for hospitals and 50 million patients in ICUs and general surgeries across the U.S. before COVID-19, but it intensified in its importance as patients were placed on ventilators to save their lives. With 50 million intubations taking place in over 6,000 U.S. hospitals every year, there is a large opportunity for an intubation assistance device that can reach a total addressable market revenue of $26.2 billion. We have a team of experts working on this with over 154 years of combined experience in the healthcare industry, and we are also incredibly grateful for our seasoned advisors listed here who support growing this business. Our competitors are McKesson, Breathe Safe, and the Anchor Fast. However, none of these devices can be used for long-term surgical procedures or healing processes because they cause some damage or irritation to patients. Surgicure's resting block does not only require any additional attachments, adhesives, or personnel, but it does not exacerbate a patient's condition. The device is also disposable to prevent the risk of cross-contamination and infection. We have defined a low-cost, easy-to-manufacture device that is ready for mass production. We have clinically validated the need for and concept of our device through interviews with KOLs, and our proof of concept was demonstrated by U.S. Army respiratory therapists. The device is fully patented and categorized as an FDA Class 1 exempt device, which means we do not require pre-market approval or clinical trials. However, to ensure the safety and quality of life of our patients, we have commitments from Baylor College of Medicine, Brook Army Medical Center, and are currently finalizing our clinical protocol with Mass General Hospital to conduct additional studies and generate real-world evidence data to publish. Finally, we have established our manufacturing process and quality management system System in preparation for our launch. We'll be selling the devices in cases of 50 and 100 devices, and our margin is 28%. We see ourselves in 200 hospitals in the next three years and project a revenue of 6.5 million by year three. 
We are currently raising a $1 million seed round on a safe or convertible note to proceed with our clinical trials, regulatory approval pathway, and sales strategy. It is our vision to impact as many hospitals and patients in the U.S. to avoid the common situations like the one I began with and then throughout the world. There is no reason that one more person has to have a complication from being intubated. With that, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have in the breakout rooms, and I hope you can join us to ensure that intubation is safe and efficient for both our patients and practitioners. Thank you. Thank you.